Dennis Ram. I'm a tech founder, a lawyer, and an anti-racism advocate, and I'm running to be your MLA in Calgary Pay Gas. Hello, Calgary. My name is Rajesh, Rajesh Angran, and I am a long-time broadcaster, a hockey dad, and I am running to be your MLA in Calgary North. Hello everyone, my name is Gurinder Brar. I am a small business owner and a small and a business professor and I am running to be your MLA in Calgary Northeast. Hello everyone, my name is Suzette Tejada. I am a Canadian 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 Canadian
so welcoming and one that has so, shown such incredible strength in the face of some really tough years. But you know what? You've all stood together and you've supported one another because that is what Albertans do. <laughs> very much that Alberta is at its best when we come together to do great things. And you know what, my friends? This campaign, this campaign that we're all in right now, it is about building a better future for Albertans. <laughs> After four very hard years dealing with a, a health care crisis and an affordability crisis and a UCP government constantly in crisis, you know, it is time for hope. It is time for stability. It is time for common sense. It is time for trusted leadership. And you know, you know, my friends, even even if you don't always agree with me, you know me. Your health care, your education, your job, and your future. And I don't flip-flop on these issues. Not now, not ever. Yeah. Alberta's NDP, you know, are, we can deliver that better future to all Albertans. And you know what? We're going to start. We're going to start by fixing, improving, and protecting our public health care. Yeah. We're going to make we're going to make the important improvements to primary care that will take the pressure off of our emergency rooms and off of our hospitals. Under our family health teams plan, we will connect more Albertans with healthcare professionals all across Alberta, so that. Every Albertan who needs a family doctor gets a family doctor. And also, very, very importantly, no one, no one will ever, ever have to pay for that privilege. Now, my opponent in this race, Daniel Smith, she has a very different idea of what the doctor-patient relationship should look like. In fact, she actually calls it the doctor-payment relationship. Those are her words, not mine. Now, that's because Danielle Smith has really honestly spent most of her time and her career and her effort has been focused on tearing down our public health care. She's gone on the radio to promote bogus cures and fake treatments for serious, serious illnesses. She's spoken publicly about how getting cancer is somehow your fault and how you should have to fundraise for the care for it. She's written policy papers calling for new fees for surgeries, co-pays for hospital stays, and using your debit card instead of your health care card when you go to see your doctor. So I say, I say this to Danielle Smith and all the other members of her UCP caucus, you don't get to spend years trying to tear down the public health care that people rely on and then expect those people to forget that. Your record matters and Albertans will not be fooled. <laughs> And in case I wasn't already clear, to Albertans I say this, if I am so privileged to become your premier again, we will never, ever make you pay for a family doctor. Yeah. For healthcare, we're gonna strengthen it. We, we're not gonna fight with doctors, we're gonna recruit them. Yeah. We won't cut diabetes pumps, we'll fund them. Seniors pay more for medical exams. We'll cover more of their medical medications and, yes, their vaccinations. Because we believe in science and in evidence, not in conspiracies. And for all those folks in Calgary and in southern Alberta, that Calgary Cancer Centre will provide you with the world class cancer care that you deserve. So my friends, I want Albertans to come
come together in this election to protect public health care. And on that front, no one comes better, no one comes together that is focused on protecting your health care. And that's why I am so happy to commit to all of you tonight that we will proceed with a $3 million investment in the initial planning study for the North Calgary Regional Health Centre. because you deserve better health care and because we are committed to delivering that for you. Now, a better future for Albertans also means better schools. It means building new schools and growing neighborhoods like right here where we're going to build a brand new high school in, well, in sort of northern, more eastern uh, Calgary. All the UCP has done is put signs in empty fields. We won't do that. When we promise schools, we build schools where they're so desperately needed. Like for instance, our college is better. Today, getting a better education is becoming so incredibly unaffordable. So instead of increasing costs for education, we will cancel the latest round of tuition hikes on students from Danielle Smith, and we will freeze post-secondary tuition. She had to change fields just for better pay but she desperately wants to go back to doing what she loves and quite frankly, what we as Albertans need her to be doing. So let me tell you this folks, we will make this happen for her and for all Albertans. We will recognize more foreign credentials. UCP made promises on this and they did nothing. We will streamline the recognition of your skills and we will make sure that you have the income support necessary to complete the classes that you need to take if they're required. And not only will we help with training, we will put money on the table for recruitment and retention, bringing and keeping more of those important frontline healthcare workers right here in Alberta. I will not rest until you can work in the professional career that you've trained for, have experience in, and frankly, deserve. So my friends, a better future for Alberta also means a future that you can afford. Everything is so much more expensive these days. And I know our government can help. Now, Danielle Smith claims she wants to help, but the UCP are the ones who took the caps off of car insurance, who took the caps off of utility. And you know what? The promises that she has made don't come for free. You'll pay for those promises with worse health care, worse education, and having to take out your credit card when you visit your doctor. I will be very clear about how we will keep costs low for families. We'll re-index and raise benefits, giving more back to families, seniors, and Albertans with disabilities. We will not ever make you pay to see your family doctor. We will freeze car insurance and stop it from going up, and we will protect your Canada pension plan. <laughs> Sabir and the rest of your MVP team. And I commit to you. <laughs> I commit to you that if we get elected, we will help. We will provide $5 million to help the remaining families who were not helped the first time. This will provide $3,000 rebates to another 1,700 households so that everyone who applied will get help. We won't leave anyone behind. We want better leadership and someone you can trust to grow our economy, champion our energy sector, and always, always work for you. Go out and vote Alberta NDP. NDP. NDP.